The Iranian authorities say that 1,000 people have been charged in Tehran over the anti-government protests that have lasted for more than six weeks now. The semi-official Tasni news agency says the trials will be held in public. So let's bring you more with Paham Kalbadi, who is from our Persian service. Very good to have you with us. Now, the Tasni news agency is, speaks for the Revolutionary Guard. So what does this mean about trials being held in public? What can we expect? So the trials, they say, they claim that the trial is being held in public. However, I was just on the phone with one of the parents, uh, mother of one of the detainees, and she was telling me, despite that, two days ago they held another trial as well. And she said that before the trial started, so the family members and the two lawyers uh, went to take part in the trial and they were barred from entering the courtroom. And she says that, so what kind of public is this trial that you're saying that neither the family members nor the two appointed lawyers were allowed in and they showed them a piece of paper saying that these two lawyers were just dropped from the case and we appointed other lawyers uh, for the detainee. So this is all, you know, there's so much lack of transparency on what's going on in this, uh, you know, in these trials. This is on the one hand. On the other hand, we see that uh, IRGC, the Revolutionary Guard, is saying that, you know, is giving ultimatum to the protesters, right? That this is the final day, you're not allowed to come out anymore. That was on Saturday, right? That was on Saturday. But every single day we see, including today, that we see that the students are taking part in the protest all across the country, in every single university, we've, we've uh, receiving pictures. And uh, it's horrifying images because we see this besieged, this notorious militia entering universities and opening fire on students. We obtained the videos that shows they are shooting at protesters and students, at university students, inside the university. I mean, it's really difficult for you to be looking at all of this footage and having to verify it for us. How are you getting hold of it? So, uh, parts of it is just, they just surface on social media. There are different accounts that receive these footages, they distribute it, we get it from them at some time, and our social media team verifies each and every one of them. And we also receive so many footages, BBC Persian receives so many footages ourselves. Uh, there's a new trend in Iran, which is a bit funny that uh, uh, Iranian youth, this, because this is called the Generation Z movement, so Iranian youth nowadays uh, are walking on the streets and they're hitting off uh, turbans of Iranian clerics on the street. This is really a controversial move, but this is a Generation Z movement. And this generation, although they've been living under a theocratic regime for four decades, we see that they are not abiding by in any shape or form. And that's why IRGC Revolutionary Guards warning is not coming to no avail. And Paham, are there still problems with the internet or is everyone able to get online and access social media? So uh, the problem with the internet, uh, like, you know, it, it's different from region to region. For example, when there is a mourning ceremony, for example, for Masa Amini in Kurdistan, the internet connection drops and there's no connection. The other day I was here a few days ago talking about Zahedan in northeastern Iran, where there were like shootings there. So internet connection suddenly uh, was disconnected and there was no Wi-Fi, no internet connection. So it differs. Exactly. They connected, disconnected, they connected, disconnected. As always, we really appreciate all Thank the work you. you're doing on this, Paham. Thank you.